Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create a word sort using Google Docs. So the first thing you want to go to is your Google Drive, which is the same thing as Google Docs. You can go to drive.google.com to get there or click on Drive at the top of your menu. You're going to go to Create, Document. Once you have your document, you're going to title it. So we'll call this the th slash tr word sort. You could also call it sort 11, sort 1, sort 2. We're going to go to insert, drawing. At the bottom of my drawing, I'm going to go ahead and make the word sort card. So I'm just going to grab a text box and I'm going to go ahead and write in some words. So I could do true. Let's do throw, trust, think, trim, then, that's enough I think for now just as an example. I like to create a line um, with stuff like this just so that the kids can kind of see some delineation between the word bank at the bottom and the actual sort up top. I know in some word sort situations you might not create headers, you'd have the kids create headers, so you could leave a blank header up here or you could actually create the header. I'm going to create it for this in this case. TR and uh, let's do a TH header. If you want to um, format this, you can. You can change the colors and maybe even put like a little line around the box so they know that these are headers and not cards for them to sort. If you want to, you can change that up. If you want to, you can also go to line here and draw a line down the middle to help them delineate between the two. And that's it. You can just click save and close and it shows up right here. You would share it with all of your kids then. This would be the template they'd use. If you've created a Google uh, group, you can go ahead and put in the Google group like class 313 or put in all the kids one by one. You would hit share in that case. Then the kids would open up this. So when they came, they would go into their Google Doc. It would look like this and they'd go to all items and they'd see this sort that you shared with them. They would go ahead and they'd open it up and they'd see it just like this. Oops. And they would just have to click on this picture. At the bottom, they can click Edit. It'll open this back up just like you had it, and they can go ahead and move the words around. All they do is they click and they drag. So throw, true, trust, think, then. That's it. They save and close. If you want them to, they can go ahead and add their name to the title. Or they um, could put it in here. It doesn't really matter if their name's on it because once they click share here and they share it back with you, if they put in Miss Langston or Miss Langston Daniels, Miss Chavaria, it's going to have their name right next to their document right here. So you can see here Lucy, Chad, me, David. It tells you who created the document. So if a kid doesn't put their name in the title, it's all right. You might want to just teach them that for good habits though. What's also nice is they can also put comments in here. So I could say the rule for this sort was to look at the first two letters of each word, dot, dot, dot. They could go ahead and put as many comments as they want in here. That's it. So that's how they could do a word sort that's a little bit more kinesthetic in terms of actually physically moving letters around and I mean words around than a Google spreadsheet example. Hope that helps.